When did we go to that Manali trip? Uh, I think it was in August. No, uh, no, I think it's March fifteenth. Yeah. Awesome trip, no? Yes, totally. Remember those momos we had the last day? I do. Wait, we had similar kind of momos somewhere. Where was that place again? Uh, I think. Yeah, I think it is near the lake over here. So Google has rescued me multiple times from not looking like a terrible friend who doesn't remember the things we did together. But how did Google become so crucial that we end up there with all our queries? In this episode of One Byte at a Time, we're going to look into the logic behind the Google search engine and how did it become a household name. When you search anything on Google, it shows that there are millions of results and it was retrieved in just milliseconds. But on the first page, there are only 10 links or 10 results. Why is that? Because it takes much less computation power and it's much easier to retrieve 10 results than actually show you millions of results. But does Google lie to you about retrieving millions of results in milliseconds? No, it does not. And we will look into that when we discuss how exactly search engine works. To get this out of the way, Google does not search the internet when you type something. It actually searches its own index. So now talking about search engines, Google comes to the mind as soon as somebody says that particular word because there is already a phrase built around it. Google it. But there are other search engines too. There's Yahoo, there's DuckDuckGo, there's Bing, and all of them do the same thing. You type in a bunch of words and they give you results. But how did Google become the household name for search engines? You know, a couple of days ago, my friend came up to me asking for a couple of food place suggestions. And I really had a lot of places on top of my mind, but my immediate response to her was, wait, let me Google it. Why did I do that? It's ingrained in my muscle memory just like most of us nowadays. So, how did Google become the common household name for all the netizens? Because they have fulfilled every promise that they have made. Whether it's relevant and faster search result to overall user satisfaction. They are constantly working on their search algorithm and making them more precise. Founded in 1998, Google currently holds staggering 98.52% of Indian search engine market with Bing coming second with only 1.07%. This is why Google is the undisputed search champion and is likely to remain so. How do search engines work? Utilizing their own web crawlers, these search engines cover hundreds of billions of pages. These web crawlers are also known as search engine bots or spiders. A search engine uses the downloaded web pages as a starting point for online navigation and uses the links present in these web pages to add the newly added web pages. Once a web page is found by a crawler, it is added to a data structure called the index. And once it is added in the index, when a user searches for some phrase on the search engine, it takes the relevant information from the index and serves it back to the user. Number one, crawling. Identifying web's existing pages is the first step. Google constantly keeps searching for new and updated web pages to add to its database of known pages because there is not one repository for all the web pages. This process is called URL discovery. Google may visit a page after learning about its URL to see what is there. It scans through millions of websites by using massive networks of computer. The tool that is used to retrieve the information is known as Googlebot. To choose which websites to crawl, how frequently, how many pages to fetch from each of these websites, Googlebot uses algorithmic approach. Some pages can't be crawled by Googlebot as well. The website owner can disallow crawling on their page and crawling is not possible on the websites that might need login. Number two, indexing. Once a page is crawled, Google tries to understand what the page is about. This procedure, referred to as indexing, it involves processing and examining of text as well as important tags and characteristics like the title components and the alt attributes. It also includes photos, videos and more. Google will be able to figure out if a page is a duplicate through indexing. And as we discussed before, the index includes all the URLs which have been crawled. The data structure, which is index, contains the keywords, content, freshness of the page, and also user engagement to determine a URL's rank so that it can show up when a related phrase is searched. Number three, serving search results. 
when a user makes a query our servers look for matching pages in the index and returns with outcome with highest grade and are most valuable to the users numerous variables including the person's location language and the device type are used to determine the relevance so say when a person is looking for a football turf park in chennai may see different results than the person searching for the same thing back in mumbai let's quickly summarize the working of the google search engine Google collects all website information through its web crawlers from content to URL. Once it gathers all this information, it's added to Google's database which can also be called as its index. When you search for a phrase in Google, it searches for relevant keywords and content in its index and shows the relevant suggestions on your web page. So now you know why Google dominates the search engine market and Oh, uh, are you recording? Yeah. Sorry, quick question. Uh, what's the meaning of flabbergasted? Just Google it.